Yeah, all right. So then it says uh, uh, at C, the volume is VC and the temperature is TC, right? So let, let's look at that, right? So C, we're going from B to C, right? That's an adiabatic process, right? Okay, this, this part here, BC is an adiabatic process, right? So if it's adiabatic, we know that um, pressure B times volume B to the 5 thirds, this is that thing, right, is equal to pressure C times volume C to the 5 thirds, right? So that's, this is our first step, right? And we, what's funny is that this is like one mark, right? It seems like a, there's three things we have to do, right? Um, and then, of course, um, notice that they've got all this stuff with R and TC and all that stuff. So they must have used the ideal gas law. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of PC, right? Because there's still, if you look at that expression, there's still VC to the, it's like two-thirds or something like that, right? So it's like, how did they do that? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to solve this for PC. So PC, uh, VC equals uh, NR. TC, right? Evidently N is the same, right? So therefore, PC is NRTC over VC. Plug that in for this guy and see what you get, right? Remember, if you divide by VC, it's like you can subtract one from that exponent. So maybe that's how they get that two-thirds, right? Okay, 